Hello lovelies, in this video I'm going to be giving both predictions for AQA GCSE Science Paper 2. I'm going to go over the combined science first and then I'm going to go over the separate science separately. Now, please remember when you are looking at these predictions, maybe when you're making notes from these predictions, that these are just my predictions. I do not know 100% what is going to come up on the exam, so please revise absolutely everything to go with these predictions there are the predictive papers and the video walkthroughs for all of the predictive papers as well so talking you through clues that the examiners are leaving you in the question looking at how to structure your answer to get the most marks walking you through how to do all the mathsy bits that comes up and explaining all the science behind it so starting off with combined science now there were lots and lots of things lots and lots of big topics that didn't come up last year so those are the obvious things to think about this year however there are some big topics that were on the advanced information last year but didn't actually come up too much in the exam so this isn't just going to be a list of what things weren't assessed last year so for combined science one of the things we really wanted to look at is classification and taxonomy now this is the sort of thing that could be like a big six mark question or it could be a shorter question now there were lots of names involved in this so i really want you to pay attention to getting like the spelling of those correct and making sure you really know who did what when adaptations is also a lovely lovely topic there are so many different ways that this could fit in it could be related to a new context because we know they love to do that in biology or it could be related to something that maybe you're a bit more familiar with examples that you've seen in class this could be linked into selective breeding now there were lots of different things the examiners could ask you about this it could be related to how it actually happens it could be related to the advantages and disadvantages or it could be linked back to adaptations. Deforestation and maintaining biodiversity is a really, really important topic. And as we see examples start to think about the, the greater things that are going on in the world, this is one of the ones I really like for like data interpretation. So we know at some point in there somewhere, there's going to be a graph, an unfamiliar graph, some unfamiliar data. And this is one of the areas that it could be on. Or we could have a nice set of questions about how deforestation will affect biodiversity or what countries are doing to maintain biodiversity in, um, the, in facing grating deforestation from corporations. Nervous responses, reflex arcs, the cells around that, including the required practical. This is one of the things that we really like for this. Now we know structure of the cell is an important thing and this could be things that could be cross paper, it could be linked into this. Now reproductive hormones and IVF as well. This is one of the ones that we like for this year. There are lots of hormones, lots of interactions Lots of things go up and lots of things go down, so make sure you know how they interact. And in the exam, please use the full name of any hormones just to make it really, really clear to the examiners so that you know what you're talking about. A big, massive topic which was left off last year was contraception. Now, this is a really, really obvious one for a six mark question. So advantages and disadvantages, comparing barrier and non-barrier contraception, or the way that it's used. So this is one that's worth really going into detail on. And then the last thing that's on my list for this year is genetic engineering. Now there are lots and lots of different ways this could come in. It could be even linked back to some of the other topics, so it could be linked back to selective breeding, it could be linked back to adaptations, or it could be in the more traditional sense where we're looking at insulin. Or it could be linked back to another topic, so evolution and selective breeding. Now, I've gone over the, the few topics that I think should be the focus of your vision, but please revise absolutely everything because we do not know what might come up as a one mark or a two mark question. And marks are marks in the exam. These are all really, really important. So for separate science, these are things I think you should focus your revision on. And don't forget, if you want a walkthrough of the paper that we've done for this year, then the playlist containing this video, all of the other videos and the paper playlist are in the description down below. I've got a long list of topics I'd like you to look at. And first on that list is classification and taxonomy. Now, there were lots of people involved in this, who did what, where, when, and what impact they had and how they led the, the fields of science further on. This could be linked through to my next topic, which is adaptations. 
Now, this is a really um, obvious one for me that they could link to a new context. Now, we know they love doing this in biology. We know they love doing this, especially in the first couple of exams. And what they like to do is have some completely unknown new context and ask you to apply the science that you know to it. And adaptation is one of the clear areas for me that they could do this. But you do need to know the science behind it really well if you're actually going to be able to apply it in a new situation. Selective breeding is another area for this. It could be linked through to quite a lot of different things as well. For example, genetic engineering. That is one that I really like. The differences between sexual and asexual reproduction. This is a classic topic for a six mark question. So it's really worth knowing the advantages and disadvantages of asexual and asexual reproduction. And if you learn this is a six mark question and you have all of that knowledge, it should be really, really easy for you to apply it as a one mark or even a two mark question. Now, genetic engineering is another great topic. You can be linked through to any of the other things that we've talked about. Another topic that suggests to me applying to a new context would be deforestation and maintaining biodiversity. I can really see this with a graph of looking at species in an area, land loss, talking about how deforestation affects biodiversity, or potentially how a country is trying to maintain biodiversity and um, going up against the corporations who want to chop down trees to grow monocrops. This could be linked into sustainable food production. We do need fields full of crops so we can have food security and sustainable food production, but we do need to balance that with maintaining biodiversity. All of these things could also be linked into organisation within an ecosystem, which is a big, big topic and a really, really important one. And I think as we start to see the world become more conscious about the importance of maintaining biodiversity and ecosystems, I think we're going to see that reflected in the exams. Learning your DNA structure is important, the structure of it, how it's built up, how it links to amino acids and how it links to proteins. It could also be linked through to evolution and antibiotic resistance. Again, evolution, antibiotic resistance, this could be a lovely six mark question, but antibiotic resistance is another one of those that they could link into context. Lots of graphs, lots of data for you to interpret in a new context, so don't be scared if it comes up because it is gonna come up, this new context, there is going to be a new context, please don't let it throw you off. Nervous responses, the, the parts of the body that are involved in that, reflex arcs, the central nervous system, and this is the practical that I like for this year. But please do go and revise all of the practicals. When we're talking about practicals, don't forget to look at your variables. Don't forget to look at things we could change. Don't forget to look at any sources of error or any graphs that might come up. I'd like you to look at reproductive hormones, sex determination, and contraception. Now, these are big, big topics that weren't in last year and were kind of like, bit of a flag there, especially when we're looking at the advantages and disadvantages of different types of contraception. So comparing barrier and non-barrier contraception and then linking it all through into sex hormones. So what sort of, which, what goes up, where, when, and which goes down, and then what releases what. Please use the proper terms for the hormones in the exam. This could also be linked through to IVF. Now, IVF, contraception, there are lots of um, big questions that could be asked, asked about this, not just about the science, but about morals and about ethics, because a lot of people don't agree with these. I also want you to spend a little bit of time looking at decay and protein synthesis. So that was a very long list of things that I think you should look at for this year, but please don't forget to revise absolutely everything because something that I haven't mentioned might come up as a question and you need to get as many marks as possible because that's how you get higher grade as possible. To help you with all your revision, don't forget the link in the description where we can have video walkthroughs for all of this year's predicted papers. Good luck guys, I'm going to be here with you every single step of the way. Ouch! This is why in some videos I have unexplained scratches.